Hello. In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Identifying Solutions to a System of Linear Equations. We're given two equations here, and we're also given some potential solutions with questions as to whether or not they are solutions. So our approach is going to be to take those potential solutions and plug them in to each equation to see whether or not they work. So I'm going to write each one of these equations again over on the right hand side and color code them a bit so that we'll be able to tell them apart. Then I'll take each solution and plug it in to test it. So starting with 511, in this case the 5 is the x and the 11 is y, I'm going to plug those into the first equation, y is 11 and x would be 5 to see whether or not that works. The left hand side is done, that's 11. On the right hand side I have 2 times 5 is 10 plus 1 is 11. So it works in the first equation, but we need to also verify that it works in the second equation before moving on. So again, plugging in 5 for x and 11 for y, we need to see if we get a true statement. This time simplifying the left hand side, negative 5 times 5 is negative 25, plus 3 times 11 is 33. Does that equal 8? Yes, negative 25 plus 33, the signs are different, so we subtract and keep the larger sign. We get 8 equals 8, so the point 511 worked in both equations, that is a yes. And now I'll just repeat this process for the other examples. We'll move on to 0, 1, testing that in the left hand side, the y is 1 and the x is 0. We have a 1 on the left hand side, 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1, which is just 1, so it works in the first equation. Again, trying it in the second equation, x is 0 and y is 1. Do those two points work here? Negative 5 times 0 is 0, plus 3 times 1 is 3. Does that equal 8? In this case, no. 3 does not equal 8. So it doesn't matter if it worked in the first one, if it doesn't also work in the second one. The question of whether it's a solution, a solution to both equations, this one is going to be no. So we can now move on to the third point, which is negative 7, negative 9. Plugging that into the first one, the y is a negative 9, the x is a negative 7, the left hand side is negative 9, the right hand side is 2 times negative 7 is negative 14 plus 1 which is negative 13 so the left hand and right hand side are not equal as soon as we have failed to meet one of the equations then we can already say no we don't need to test the second equation because even if it did work it would not be a solution to both equations and moving on to the last point here we have 3, negative 2. So negative 2 is our y value and 3 is our x value. In the first equation, this is negative 2 on the left hand side and 6 plus 1 on the right hand side. 7 is not equal to negative 2. So again, since this failed, we can already say no, it is not a solution. The only way to check the yes box is for that point to work in both equations, and that only happened with 5 and 11 for this example.